News 8 Storm Team Forecast with meteorologist Matt Moore. A little bit of slippery travel early this morning with some freezing fog, freezing mist as temperatures in a few spots were below the freezing mark. But the good news is a lot of those problem areas are now above freezing, so that concern is no longer. We still do have plenty of clouds, though, and uh, temperature wise, we are climbing close to the 40 degree mark here in Gettysburg. Same story over towards York and Lancaster in the upper 30s. Lebanon, where temperatures were at 32 degrees just an hour ago, now up to 34, and still have a couple of numbers here in our northern counties where we're below freezing, but we are not seeing that heavier mist or that fog in our northern counties like we were a little bit farther down to the south early this morning. York, that's where we go to take a live look right now. And yeah, that's pretty much the story for today, especially in uh, some of our southern and central counties. A lot of water droplets on the lens here, plenty of mist and drizzle to go around uh, around the region. Right now, our visibilities are down around Harrisburg to uh, just above a quarter mile visibilities there. York up to a half mile visibilities. Lancaster was the problem spot this morning, has improved to three mile visibility. So it seems like some of our northern New York County, southern uh, Dauphin County, even the parts of Cumberland County, still dealing with some of that dense fog. And give yourself an extra few minutes as you are out and about. Right now we have some high clouds that are drifting through above the pocket of low clouds that's uh, stuck closer to the ground and we are watching some showers starting to work in from the southwest and as these showers make their way to the northeast they may be encountering some of that sub-freezing air in our northern county so National Weather Service has pulled the trigger on a freezing rain advisory this goes in effect at three o'clock this afternoon it lasts until midnight tonight I don't think this is going to be a big deal for us anytime we can get a glazing of ice the National Weather Service will pull that freezing rain advisory so keep that in mind. A glazing at most, I think, in some of those northwest counties later on this afternoon and this evening might cause some slippery spots. But overall, most of us will just be dealing with a few showers around. Uh, yeah, again, that brief mix to start in our northern counties. Otherwise, highs today around 40 degrees. Not a bad time or bad afternoon to head over to the food court at the Pennsylvania Farm Show. It's in the background there. Cloudy and damp here for tonight. Fog and drizzle continue. And temps will drop down again around 34 to 36 degrees. So most spots above freezing. Then we head into tomorrow. Tomorrow, 42 to 46 for that high, and it, not a great start to the weekend. A great day to go check out the farm show. Just be indoors because I tell you what, it's going to be gray, gloomy, all that uh, the drizzly activity, very similar to what we have so far today. So, again, we are watching this rain as it moves from southwest to the northeast, and it's running right along the edge of a warm front, which will eventually get here. So, the showers will be around later this evening. Again, watching the chance of that brief freezing drizzle in our northern counties. But then as we go through the overnight into Saturday, things quiet down. We just keep the cloudy skies in the forecast. Different story on Sunday. We've got another system that starts to move into, uh, into our region that starts to bring some heavier rain into the Susquehanna Valley. So by Sunday morning, before sunrise, there'll be some heavier rain in the area. Before that cold front sweeps through, we dry things out. We may actually see some sunshine Sunday afternoon, and those temperatures will spike as a result. We're going up to the mid-50s on Sunday. Behind that system, though, on Monday, really going to notice the cold air moving in, blustery winds, some flurries off the Great Lakes, brisk on Tuesday, watching for more uh, flurries, possibly some snow showers for the day on Wednesday, maybe early in the day on Wednesday as of right now. So going up with the temps and then crashing right back down into next week. <laughs> that seems to have been the scenario here. Yeah, there we go. All right. Repeat for us. Yeah, thanks, Matt. Mm -hmm.